everybody grows bigger. Your life must flower. It's great to learn, cause knowledge is power. Your schoolhouse rocket, a chip off the block. Of your favorite schoolhouse, schoolhouse rock. One thing you will discover when you get next to one another is everybody needs some elbow room, elbow room. It's nice when you're kind of cozy, but not when you're tangled, nose to nosey. Oh, everybody needs some elbow, needs a little elbow room. That's how it was in the early days of the USA. to settle though the east was the only place there was to go when europeans came to the western hemisphere there were people here 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 the president was thomas jefferson he made a deal with napoleon how'd you like to sell a mile or two or three or a hundred or a thousand there were many cultures and many languages, but they were the people of this land that There were many cultures and many languages, but they were the people of this land that people of this land that people of this land that this land that this land that And so in 1803 the Louisiana territory was sold to us without a fuss and gave us lots of elbow room. They always referred to themselves in their own languages or cultures as the people, the people, the people, the people. People have a continuity that goes way back into the ancient times, the ancient times, the ancient times. Oh, elbow room, elbow room, got to, got to get us some elbow room. The Americans refuse to recognize who we are. They still don't see us. They still don't see us. They still don't see us. It's the West or bust, but in God we trust, there's a new land out there. Native to America, because we are older than America. So we cannot be Native American because we are older than it. It is just a temporary name. We are older than it. We are older than it. We are older than it. It is just a temporary name. name. It is just a temporary name. Lewis and Clark volunteered to go. A goodbye, good luck, wear your overcoat. They prepared for good times and for bad and for bad. And our DNA is connected to our land bases. And I mean, we're not Native Americans. We're the people. We're the people, 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 we're the people. And they hired a sack of Jewia to be their guide. She led them all across the countryside, reached the coast, and found the most elbow room we've ever had. It's an essential part of genocide where to erase the memory, the memories of the people, the memories of the people, the memories of the people. The way it was opened up for folks with bravery oh, There were plenty of fights to win land rights But the West was meant to be It was a manifest destiny Everything it has ever done to us was to get us to believe the way they wanted us to believe The way they wanted us, the to, way believe. They wanted us to believe The trappers, traders and the peddlers The politicians and the settlers They got there by any way they could that other genocide that is the more deadly effect of assimilation is genocide where they start to just erase our whole conscious connection to who we are. It's an essential part of genocide to erase the memory. It's an essential part of genocide to erase the memory, to erase the memory. Genocide, 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 genocide. To erase the memory, to erase the memory, to erase the memory. The gold rush trampled down the wilderness, the railroads spread across from east to west, and soon the rest was opened up for, opened up for good. But the American government wants us to become Native Americans, to believe and feel as powerless as the rest of the Americans do, to believe and feel as powerless as the rest of the Americans do.
It's done through the language, it's done through the educational system, the economic system, the political system, the religious systems. I mean, it's brainwashing intensified at its maximum. I mean, it's brainwashing and brainwashing and brainwashing and brainwashing and at its maximum. At its maximum. Now we jet from east to west through the New York LOLA. But it took those early folks to open up the way. Conscious memories get erased of what is true and real about our ancestral past, and new memories get inbred through the generations, through the programming, programming, programming. Now we've got a lot of room to be a growing from sea to shining sea. Yes, that we have got our elbow room, elbow room. Actually, they have authority and they maintain authority through violence and deceit because. In some way, because of their own lack of power, their own lack of power, their own lack of power. But if there should ever come a time when we're crowded up together, I'm sure we'll find some elbow room up, up on the moon. The authoritarian have went to great extremes, tremendous extremes, to keep us incoherent as physical fear, as physical fear, as physical fear. Oh, elbow room, elbow room. And when you look at the situations that, the conditions that we live in now, with the way that, you know, uh, the way that the cancers of greed and, and war, the way that these viruses, these diseases have spread, spread, have spread, have spread, have spread. I would say to anyone, you know, protect your spirit. I would say to anyone, you know, protect your spirit. Because, because you're in the place where spirits get eaten.